Hello and welcome to the SharePoint.com YouTube channel. I am Vijay, a Microsoft MVP, and in this video, we are going to see how we can calculate age in year uh, in InfoPath form in SharePoint Online SharePoint 2013 or SharePoint 2010. So, you can follow the same process in any of the InfoPath, and here we'll see how we can do that in InfoPath Designer 2013. So what I'll do is I'll open my InfoPath. So I'll open InfoPath Designer 2013 and uh, then I'll design a blank form here. So you can see here blank form and uh, then I'll say design this form. So what will happen is it will give you one UI where you can put your controls. So I'll give an heading. Suppose I'll say calculate age and I will put a table here table format will just take a table format so let's I'll take a table like this and uh, here we'll give options for the user to choose the date of birth so and we'll put a date control here so if you'll see I'll go to this toolbox and I'll use a date picker so you can uh, rename it so you can right click on this, go to properties and you can change it to date of both something like that you can give and then click on OK. And now I'll say age. So we'll just notify that it is in years. And here I'll put a text box control. So I'll put a text box and I'll also similarly rename it. I'll say years and uh, I'll click on OK. So uh, now if you'll see here, uh, the requirement here is user will choose a year, I mean a date of birth and uh, we'll populate that uh, years field over here. So I'll make it right click on that and may, I'll make it read, on, uh, uh, that, uh, uh, read only so that uh, you cannot modify anything on that, it will just auto populate over there. So I'll click on apply and ok. Now uh, we'll write our rule for that. So I'll right click on that uh, uh, date of birth control. So then you can uh, add rules over there. You can see here you can say manage rules. Then your rule field will appear. And in this rule field you can uh, write a action rule. So in that action rule you can uh, uh, set the field value. So you can something you can give a name for the rule. Suppose I'll say uh, calculate uh, age rule something like that I'll give and then you can see here add and then set field value so when I'm doing set field value it will open the rule details dialog box where, can, where I can add the rule so first of all which field we want to populate we want to put the put the populate the years field so I'll choose the years column here and then the value what value we are going to put it here so we are basically calculating uh, from this particular date whatever user will choose and we'll uh, so basically we'll minus from today's date so we'll take the year part and then we'll minus it from the whatever the date is, has been chosen by the user so uh, there is a rule uh, which you can write this is the formula i'm just taking this formula so you can see here either you can go to the effects also you can write this so if you'll see here we are substring from today today will give current date and then substring and then dot so dot is nothing but the current field so if you'll see here insert i'll choose this one i'll say okay it will become the dot will come there so it will take the current field uh, you can check the formula so you can see here verify formula and then there no no error in that that so click on okay and now our uh, rule is created so what we can do is uh, before publishing that i mean there are other videos where i have shown how we can publish the info path form i'll put the urls in the description field and you can check that but we'll now preview it and, and see it so there is a preview button you can see here uh, there is a preview button so in the preview button you can see our columns are appearing date of birth and age so choose that uh, so if i'll uh, let's say i'll choose any uh, date from here so i will let's say i will go and choose uh, uh, something like this 2017 you can see here two years is coming if i'll make it to 2000 and if you'll, i'll come out of that you can see here 19 years is coming so this way you will be able to uh, calculate age from the date of birth column 
so hope you like this video if you like our videos uh, kindly subscribe to our youtube channel give comments what other videos you want uh, so uh, follow the channel subscribe it you will get notification on various uh, uh, video tutorials that we usually uh, update in our channel not only that related to sharepoint you will get power bi videos power, uh, power power apps flow all these videos you will get it so kindly subscribe to our channel and thank you and have a nice